Hi, I'm David Barber. I'm the set designer for the two shows at the Frank Center this summer at CATF, uh, One Night and North of the Boulevard. And welcome to Trips Auto Garage, the set for North of the Boulevard. North of the Boulevard is a play about four guys who um, hang out in Trips Auto Garage, pondering where they've gone, what's happened to them, how they ended up in sort of the condition that they're in now. The guys are absolutely convinced that if they can just get out of the neighborhood, get north of the boulevard, that their lives are going to be better. To achieve the rep for the two shows, the repertory, um, I decided to put in what we call black scrim um, in uh, this portal. And the portal basically shutters down the proscenium in the Frank Center Theater down to about nine feet high. We actually see through it and it sort of evokes the size and shape of the garage opening for this auto garage. The audience is actually the street. That's where you actually pull your car in and we pull the car right onto the stage. But that created these two little side areas for us where we could do sort of moments that weren't necessarily part of the real action on stage, but continued to try to evoke sort of what the feel of this garage was like. So on one side, we have the back alley entrance to the garage. And on this side, we've got the waiting area where customers ostensibly would kind of hang out and wait while Tripp's working on their cars. And in this area, we've decided that he's dedicated essentially a shrine to his days as a football player. We actually had a trophy maker uh, that works locally, custom make us a trophy because we wanted something pretty big and outrageous and really truly like from a, a championship that this team had won, he's hung onto the trophy. So this is essentially Tripp's service desk and the entrance to his office. When you go into the actual office itself, in terms of sight lines for the audience, what the audience can see, they only see a little sliver, but we still kind of try to make sure that anything they can see looks like it's completely finished and real. And so the bulletin board in here that's above his desk has pictures of him and his wife at parties, childhood pictures of him and Bear in football gear, uh, some more unpaid bills, some thank you notes from little old ladies that love the work that was done on their cars. So this is essentially the bar area of the garage. Uh, the guys absolutely wanted a space to hang out and to be able to drink while they're at work, because why not? The play actually has the suggestion that the refrigerator in the bar is rigged with a beer spigot out of it. It's essentially what we call a kegerator. And so we actually hit up a local distributor that was able to sort of teach us how to rig the refrigerator. And we took an old refrigerator, punched a hole in the front, and actually rigged it. So this, it is an actual working keg. Then the refrigerator in the genuine garage this is based on was covered like the entire thing from top to bottom with family pictures, uh, pictures of parties like I was talking about in the office. And uh, so in here we've literally got uh, Larry, one of the characters, we did his wedding photo. Uh, we've got a wedding photo with his dad and his brother at his brother's wedding. There's also a picture of Ed because why not? This bar I found online uh, when I was looking for just really ratty rec room bars that somebody had bought at Walmart and sort of, you know, were completely destroyed, but we couldn't find one to buy. So uh, Chase Molden, that's actually worked for the festival before as a props artisan, couldn't be here this summer, but he came in and he did a couple specialty projects for us. And so he came in and he built this just based on my research. So this is the bathroom at Tripp's Garage. This is basically a bathroom you only want to go into if you're absolutely desperate and you have to. We've got basically the, uh, the toilet that has no lid on it anymore. It's been replaced by a chunk of plywood. Um, I've actually left a Sharpie marker in here and encouraged the crew to graffiti at will that they're actually sort of, they've been slow to respond. The play takes place in December 2008, so Obama has just been elected and he's got the poster for him in the shop, but it's not even so much that he's a huge supporter of Obama as it is that he needs the poster to cover up a crack because there's a tree on his neighbor's property that's like growing into his garage and creating this huge, awful, bulging concrete crack that he's trying to cover up. So if the actual proscenium opening that the audience is looking through is the garage doors out onto the street of this garage, then there's almost always a little side entrance off the alley. And we decided that's actually the place where the guys come and go. This door is actually made to look like it's a steel case, you know, heavy duty industrial door. It's actually wood. 
And then outside, we've got sort of the brick wall that's, that's in the alley outside the garage. My neighborhood in Brooklyn has a whole lot of graffiti to actually go look at. And so I took pictures of multiple different walls and collaged a couple of those different pieces of graffiti together to give the painters research to work with to actually reproduce that wall. So thanks for taking a little tour of the garage with me. We hope to see you in person here at Contemporary American Theater Festival this summer.